Hey there, IHS. It's been a while. We were really busy making this show as good as it is. <laughs> we're back with another episode, which we know you've been dying to see. You know, a lot happened while we were gone. A new health office is here, a new marijuana office, plans for future energy, and a controversial car wash. You heard it here last, folks. Cayuga Health has opened a new office building in Cortland. The office, located on Tompkins Street, will serve to consolidate a number of Cayuga House, Cortland, and Homer locations. The facility will include behavioral health services, cardiology, neurology, surgery, pulmonology, ENT, occupational medicine, sleep practices, and lab services. Quote, we are excited about this brand new facility and all of the benefits for our patients in the Cortland area, said Dr. Martin Stallone, President and CEO of Cayuga Health. You know, something's in the air down at the Commons, and it's not love, it's THC. Yes, this is from Ithaca's first legal marijuana dispensary, William Jane, opening last week, bringing even more marijuana into Ithaca, if that was possible. The hopes of this business is to provide a safe way to get the now legal drug and decrease the risk and effort of obtaining it. No good thing comes easy though, and this new dispensary could take jobs and profits away from small local marijuana entrepreneurs. William Jane seems to be very popular with locals though, with a line over a hundred people along on opening day, with one man saying, quote, It's been a while. I moved here in 1971. I can't wait to try it, end quote. No way he waited a 52 years for this, but okay. One man's trash dump is another man's solar farm out in Dryden. The decommissioned Caswell Road landfill is an ideal location to gather solar energy to power homes and businesses for thousands of people. Since it's uninhabitable because of the waste, the barren 112-acre plot can be used for other purposes. The plan's uh, been in the works for a few years alongside other solar farms in the area, and it's estimated that construction can begin in 2024. People are disappointed at the beginning of construction of a new squeaky clean car wash on the south side. The plot of land for the car wash was expected to be used for a new business or residence, not a car wash with another location less than a mile away. The land could have been used to make a nice local business, like a Target or a dispensary, who knows. Social Justice Week has gone crazy this week, with awesome presentations about hip-hop to climate action to fashion. Speakers told stories from their lives, sharing their experiences in the world, and connecting them to students to educate them about the differences between time and people. But that's all we've got for this episode. We hope you really learned. See you next week. <laughs>